Hello, it's the uh, Self Preservation Society on Basil Broadcasting Truth and Therapy, BBTT. Here I am using the talking stick. And the title of this upload is What Religion Are You? Um, again, it goes back to um, going out with my mate Terry last Tuesday. Look at my last two, two uploads or so. <clears throat> Indeed, look at any upload on my channel. There's a couple of people contacted me and saying, I'm diligently going through all your uploads from the beginning. And um, it's powerful stuff and words that effect. And I'm humbled by that. Humbled by that. Um, it's the messages I bring. Uh, not me that it's important. The messages and those willing to take the time and the effort um, empowers me. Really empowers me, but anyway, I digress. Title of this upload is "What Religion Are You?" Because um, some people, religion as a belief in a deity, a creator, whatever they call him, God and Buddha and you know, all these other different names. Some people are religious that they believe in science. Some people are religious that they believe in the bread and circuses, that the entertainments for the masses. Science is one of them. And, um, you know, that be football or, or whatever. Some people religiously follow pop stars and movie stars and this, that, and that. Some people religiously follow flat earth, globe earth, whatever earth, some people religiously, etc., etc., etc. Unless you're self-aware or seek to become self-aware, then you are by definition religious. Religion comes from the Latin of relegare, so Mark Passio teaches. And... Um, Relegare means to tie, to bond, or to thwart, to stop forward pro progress. So I'm not religious. I was, from 84 to 89, very religious. And then I religiously became aware of the spiritual self. And then for the last 15, 20 years or, or more, I've been on this path of conscious awareness, which is to become self-aware. And it's a never-ending journey. There is no destination. But I certainly don't see myself as religious anymore. Yes, I will often look, and as you know by listening to my channel, comment on that which is outside of the self but you know i've put it in twice today if you look go within or go without go within or go without if you don't go within you will go without if you don't go within you will not become self-aware you will not become consciously aware you will forever be controlled by the narrative that is the matrix be that god flat earth or anything else that is outside of you anything you have to in order to become self-aware start to question that which is outside of you <clears throat> no two ways about it you have to question that which is outside of you the bread and circuses that is known as the matrix i've been listening to some stuff today <laughs> seeing some stuff uh, where i share my uploads links to my uploads in other channels which i see one where this bloke is, is putting a link in oil is running out i think the question of that has long since been decided. Rothschilds, etc. Years and years ago, I think it's back in the fifties, paid scientists 
to say that oil was not an infinite source, that it was finite. In the same way that those scientists sold out, your doctors and everybody else has sold out. You know, my mate Terry said Tuesday when we was in debate about COVID, this, that, and the other, the science proves it. I said, no, the science you listen to proves it because the science you're listening to is ones that your controllers allowed to speak so you can uh, believe their narrative, their program. Listen to those who don't get the same opportunity. Or if they do, they run the risk of being cut off, etc., silenced. I look back today at um, on Next News Network on um, Pitchu at their um, interview with Rashid Bukhar some two years ago. If you go on to Next News Network on Pitchu, just go on to their channel, top right hand side, there it is, the top of their pile, the most views. And I said to my mate Terry, go and have a listen to Rashid Bukhar. Go and have a listen to other people from the scientific and medical community that you're not hearing on your television. See, my mate Terry uh, is indicative of so many people that religiously follow and defend the narrative within the program that is the Matrix because they're not self-aware. They're not consciously aware. And the truthers, uh, many truthers, and certainly just about every person I've ever met in spiritualism or anyone that I've ever engaged with on the computer that claims to be spiritual, they're the same. They're the same. They can't see outside of that. I'm not a spiritual being having a human experience. I'm a human human having a spiritual experience. Same shit. Whichever way you look at it, it's part of the prison that controls you. The spirit and all that it implies, all the love and lighters, you know, think it implies, it's part of the prison that controls you. The spirit is not you. No more than the mind and the ego do you have is you or do you have control over it is only control by the program of the matrix no matter how much you and i think we have found the truth if it is in the matrix and somebody else can disprove the same point then that's what it is duality that keeps you enslaved when you become self-aware or seek to become self-aware, consciously aware. You see that which is outside of you, whether it be 9-11 or whatever, um, for what it is, for what it is. And another thing I, I've looked at today, um, or not deeply, but I, I see somebody talking about self-defense. Self-defense. Self-defense is there for you to fight your neighbor. It's not there. How many people have actually used self-defense to fight against our rulers and our masters? No, we use it to fight against each other, defend ourselves against each other. <laughs> you know, when you think about it, deeply. Freeze your mind, makes you laugh self-defense if we if those have done self-defense whether it be boxing martial arts mma you name it any form of self-defense if they done any form of self-defense in its purest form they 
would be the warriors that, that freed us. They would use it, all their skills, to free us from the prison, but they don't. It's used to defend against their neighbour. It's not used to defend or attack those that own us, control us. Think about it. Think about it. There is little or no hope in actual fact, as I said in an upload a year or two back. Faith, hope, belief are the three keys to your enslavement, our enslavement. And I'll keep saying it, because again, you know, all these people are saying Jesus is coming back. They, you know, you really have no idea about who Jesus was. You know, you go around where, wearing a cross or a crucifix as you're a Christian. He was tortured upon that. So the Bible tells us. Tortured upon that. And you go wearing it as a symbol of your devotion to him. You were really devoted to this figure called Jesus Christ. You would understand what he taught you, and you would be doing as he done and far greater things. But no, you're sitting there watching your television and whatever, and going to church on a Sunday, waiting for him to come back. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Fucking religion. You religiously wait for him to come back. No understanding of who this figure was and the teachings that he shared with you. Because if you did, you would be defending against those that seek to control you in the, in the seen and the unseen, the heard and the unheard. But no, you're waiting for him to come back again. He never left. He never left. You're not aware of that either. He never left. Because he, like everyone else and everything else in the universe, is no more than consciousness of the universe expressing itself in a conscious way. And he is no more than energy, frequency and vibration. And because you don't understand energy, frequency and vibration, in all its forms of variance, you'll sit my room to come back on a white bloody charger or whatever. To do what? What's he going to do for you if he does come back? That which you can do yourself is the most he could ever do for you. So why are you not doing it yourself? Because you're religiously waiting for him to come back. It's the same as people religiously go to their doctor for a cure, etc., etc., etc. What religion are you? If you are religious in any way, shape, or form, if you religiously do the same thing, then you're a slave, you're a prisoner to the mind and the ego, never mind the masters that you serve in the seen and the unseen, the heard and the unheard. What religion are you? If you're not coming to conscious awareness of yourself, seeking to come to conscious awareness of yourself, then you're a slave and you're a prisoner and you don't even know it because you're religiously chasing something outside of you. Pointing a finger at someone to blame, waiting for a saviour, you know, seeking to control part of the program, the narrative that is over you and expose, expose it, whether it be God, politics, flat earth, sport, whatever, whatever, whatever. If you're not becoming self-aware, 
and on the path of conscious awakening, you're a prisoner, you're a slave, and your masters do not fear you in any way, shape or form. They do not fear you. I've been saying for an awful long time on this channel about the difference between Lucifer and Satan. Spend some time on my channel. If you're here listening to the first one, go back and look at the inversion that controls us on my channel and a few others before you comment on this. Lucifer, the fallen angel. Angel equals angle, equals arc, equals light. You, we, I are the fallen angel because we deny the light of the self because the program tells us to. Lucifer, Lucy, light, burr, codes. We are the light, we are the way. It is all within us and we deny it because we religiously follow the narrative outside of ourselves and do not seek to know ourselves. What are you? Let me tell you something, my friends. What you tolerate will continue. What you turn away from will continue. What you ignore will continue. Your fear, your ignorance, your compliance and apathy is the prison you have built for yourself. The fika, virus, that predates all areas of life. And all it does is keep us living and stops us knowing what it is to simply live. Just a quick word from my sponsor or sponsors. Truth, awareness and love. They are my sponsors. They are what drive me in that order. My truth, my awareness and my love might not be right for you. But it is right for me and i share that with all good intention in accordance with universal and natural law and all the while you're attacking me or attacking somebody for being black red yellow white attacking somebody for being gay or straight attacking somebody because they're a jew attacking somebody because they're a muslim you're part of the fecking problem. You're not harming anybody else by doing that. You're harming yourself. The self. <clears throat> and that's the truth. Because you religiously follow a narrative. Whatever that narrative is to stop you becoming self-aware, to stop you finding the light within and the way within, the Lucifer within, because the system tells you Lucifer is Satan. Absolutely, unequivocally, 100% wrong. They are two polar opposites. And when you go into their churches, you're praying to their God, Satan, at the expense of the light and the way and the codes and the knowledge of the self. When you wake up to that, <coughs> fight for your ego, fight for your mind, transcend the spirit to the conscious self you may well understand, comprehend, and resonate with what I tried to share with you. As always, this or any other message, don't share the message, don't share me.
and ask yourself, what religion are you? What are you focused on outside of you? What are you talking about all the time outside of you? What are you dependent upon outside of you that stops you becoming self-aware? Amia, thank you. In la pech, you are seeing enemy. Me takoi or yasin, we are all related. One. And when we go one, we go all. We simply do not go to. 